from LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica, this is the Midday Report on LA Late. It's a big midday here on LA Late with incredible details about your fourth stimulus check update of 2021 today. In this recording, we'll go over that monthly stimulus check that the Democrats want you to have. We'll be going over the fourth stimulus check, how much is at issue and when you're going to get it. And the great news as Biden does it, the president of the United States signs into law a major legislation to get this fourth stimulus to the finish line. The deal has been signed. I'll be going over the incredible details in this recording. And then we cut to fifth stimulus, not one, but three major breaking news, including a fifth stimulus check and the raising up of your benefits a lifetime with a new benchmark that could go through the roof. Then in the middle of the recording, we go over the thousands of dollars you can get and viewers continue to get it. One got $6,000 in just the last few days. It's a big noon time. There's a lot of exciting details. I'm excited you for you to join me this morning, this noon time, this afternoon, starting right here, right now on LA Light. Hey, good noon time, everybody. How you doing? It, it is Monday at noontime here in Los Angeles. Hope you're having a wonderful day. It is sunny, but it's wonderful onshore breeze here in Santa Monica. So it's cool and pleasant. Hope the weather is good where you are. Tell me where you're tuning in from and how's the weather. In this fourth stimulus check update of 2021, we're going to go over that monthly stimulus check that the Democrats want you to have, the House, the President, and also the Senate. And then we'll be turning to fifth stimulus that will also have a stimulus check in there, plus raising your benefits up a lifetime. The major deal the president signs for fourth stimulus, the major deals about fifth stimulus heating up, and the big money you can get. It's a big extended noontime broadcast. So subscribe. This is LA Light, the only 24-hour a day, seven-day-a-week financial news channel. Live in the morning, taped in the afternoons. I'm live with you right now. I'm back with you at 3 o'clock and then 5 o'clock with afternoons and evenings. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers, a YouTube record for a reason. Next stop, 1 million. Also like this video. Two, 3,000 likes and consider becoming a member. Let's get right to the details with that monthly stimulus check by comparing the House proposal and the Senate proposal. The House has a bill. We're going to go over that details as well. And it starts right now. The House bill provides a stimulus check for the remainder of the pandemic plus one year. The Senate proposal, on the other hand, provides a stimulus check for a shorter duration, July to December. If you're in the live chat just after 11 a.m., get ready to vote House or Senate, but not just yet. Let's look at the monthly payouts. House bill, $2,000 first month, $1,000 thereafter. Senate proposal, unknown but word on the street is it's this. Oh, M G. That is wonderful. That is per person. Two thousand dollars a month over six months. Twelve thousand dollars a person, or fourteen hundred dollars a month over six months. Eighty-four hundred dollars a person. Fourth stimulus. But there is a macroeconomic factor that could modify the number of checks you get from the house. Pandemic plus one year. Some believe it may just be one year, because the pandemic may be viewed over. That would result under the house bill from Jalapal of twelve months. $13,000 compared to Senate, six months of this. All right, I think you have an opinion. Which one do you like, Senator House? Tell me which one you like. Jump into the live chat, Senator House, and tell me where you're tuning in from and how's the weather. Let's go over everything else you need to know about that fourth stimulus check. The Democrats want everyone who got a third stimulus check to get a fourth stimulus check. So if you're a single individual, 75000 or less, you get a fourth stimulus check for the Democrats. Married couple, they want you to have a fourth stimulus check, double it, 150000 or less. Family of four, Democrats want you to have a fourth stimulus check. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, or railroad benefits, the Democrats want you to have a fourth stimulus check as well. The fourth stimulus check is not income, so it's not taxable. The fourth stimulus check is a monthly stimulus check, not a wave check. It doesn't come in waves. So don't wave at the check. It won't wave back. And you'll be insulted and think it was such a rude check. <laughs> Hi, check. How are you? It didn't wave back at me. What a rude check. It's not waveable. It doesn't wave the check. 
and then consider also the incredible details that the forced stimulus check is the same amount for everyone, for the Democrats. Adult dependents and minor dependents, everyone across the board, same amount as well. The forced stimulus check the Democrats propose and represent will be called for a final vote no later than July 4th. That means that you get a forced stimulus check in the month of July, for the month of July, in the month of August, for the month of August, and there you are. That is the first of three parts of your Force Stimulus Check update of 2021 in today's video. But coming up in the second part, we go over the big deal. Biden did it. A major deal from the president about Force Stimulus and more coming up in the second part. But here's a preview of later this video. We'll be going over Fifth Stimulus that has a Fifth Stimulus Check in there, but also has three breaking news stories about your benefits going through the roof. I'm really excited to deliver this news for you. It's coming up in the second half of this video. But let's turn to some moolah. <laughs> You've been killing it. If you're new to this video or the new to this channel, what I do is I get people money. I don't just report news. I get people money. And you have been killing it. One viewer a week ago yesterday, a week ago today on Mornings LA revealed she got six to seven thousand dollars because of this channel. In the last 24 hours, people have been telling me they got $350 a month, $450 a month. You've been killing it. Let's go over all the details, starting with rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and homeowners' utilities. It is money available for you, and you go get it. It's $350 billion land your cities and counties and states from the federal government for you. $350 billion for you. Well, not all for you. What do you think this is? The Powerball Mega Millions lottery? <laughs> No, you got to share. Uh, you got to share. It's just for you and a few other people. <laughs> so go get that money. Get a pen and paper ready or a Crayola crown if it matches my shirt. And I'm gonna about to go over all the incredible money you can get in this video. Stay to the very end. We have a lot of money to cover. First, $5,000 approximately for rent. Tim got it. Linda got it. I want you to get it as well. What I'm going to show you is the different places you get the money. And if one says no, reach out to the next because they all have different eligibility and different pots of money. All right, you ready? The keywords, you're going to reach out to those six places starting right now. City Hall, City Housing Authority. County Hall, County Housing Authority. State Hall, State Housing Authority. The keywords you're going to say is rent assistance because of COVID. Rent assistance because of COVID. Or mortgage assistance because of COVID. You don't say words that they don't know, like stimulus or Javita Light. <laughs> they don't know those words, unless they're a fan. Uh, so say those key words. And congratulations to Tim and Linda who got that pot of money. Well, the next pot of money, that viewer got $6,000. Lynn Glenn got it for herself, for her son. Uh, give his best wishes for his for his teeth. He's having a procedure. Her mom, also Gail. Let's go over all those incredible details. It's SNAP. It is SNAP. SNAP is money from the federal government for food. You get it from Department of Agriculture. So reach out to Department of Agriculture. How much is it? A family of four in Hawaii is now upwards of $16,000 a year. Wow. Why so much money? Because of two wonderful executive orders, one from Biden and one from Trump, that raise your benefits up 15% between now and December. Yes, that's an automatic raise up nationally by the federal government. So it should be automatically on all your benefits all the way through the December. So go get it. Boy, we're killing it. $15,000, $16,000 for a snap for family four in Hawaii. $5,000 for rent, approximately. And we are only nine minutes of this video. Oh, boy, let's get some more money. And it's $5,000 one viewer got for this. What is it? It's money coming back from the federal government via your state. The state has was paying you unemployment assistance. And then they had a computer error. Not your computer, their computer. <laughs> and they overpaid you benefits. No fault to your own. The federal government has said... That was your money to keep. The state should not have asked you to return the money. Oh, my goodness. And the federal government has ordered the states to return the money back to you. Yes. So one viewer got $5,000 from this. How do you get it? When do you get it? You get it automatically to the account you have on file with your state unemployment department. Where, when are you going to get it? Reach out to your respective state for routing times. Each state has different routing times across the board. Really incredible details. Get that money. The next pot of money is even better. And it is money coming from the federal government. Oh, boy. Congratulations to Michael and Margaret and Cod who got this money. And yours is coming next. What is it? It is money back from the IRS for your taxes you paid on that unemployment assistance in 2020. Let's go over when, how, how much, and how to track it. First, how much is this? 
Example, let's say you had $9,000 of unemployment assistance. You paid $5,000 of total taxes, of which $4,000 was your taxes on unemployment assistance. Congratulations, you're getting back $4,000. When? June, the month of June. How? Direct deposit if it was on your tax return, otherwise in the mail. Can you track it? Yes. Go to irs.gov. 70% of the time it works. Set up a username and password. Do a transcript search. And that will reveal the activity on your name, your taxes you paid, the taxes, your tax return you filed, and the refund check you're getting. Oh my goodness, that is wonderful news. Can we top that? We can. <laughs> With the second of your three parts of your fourth stimulus check update of 2021, and it starts right now. Where are we? We are currently in the reconciliation process of the fourth stimulus check and fourth stimulus package. When are we going to be done? By July 4th. And will there be stimulus checks in there? The House wants you to have it. Democrats, the Senate Democrats have been talking about you wanting, about them wanting you to have it. And the President has been talking about you wanting to have it. But even more excited, Biden did it. Biden signed into law on Friday and Saturday a major law, an international law, that anchors four stimulus to the edge of the finish line and removes provisions for four stimulus no longer needed because now they're in international law. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to be going over all those details starting right now. It started on the Friday before Memorial Day weekend when Leader Schumer confirmed not one but three of the reports of this channel. Number one, he confirmed we're currently under reconciliation. Number two, he confirmed the reconciliation will be done by July 4th. And number three, he confirmed it will be done with a passage. But how do we get to there? It came from Jalapal when Jalapal wrote Schumer a letter and said, call the vote on the recon. The letter was co-signed by 12 House Democrats who were among the 100-plus the House Democrats who had earlier written the president a letter saying, we're going to be putting monthly stimulus checks into the fourth stimulus package when we ride it. Oh, my goodness. Now, that's wonderful. Can we top that? We can. A week earlier, a week later, seven House Democrats wrote the president a letter. And in that letter, they said, Mr. President, when we go to write the fourth stimulus, we're going to be putting monthly stimulus checks in that language. Who are these people to say that? Well, they are on the House subcommittee that is solely exclusive and responsible for writing your stimulus checks in the House of Representatives. Oh, my goodness. Did they write the first stimulus check? They did. Did they write the second stimulus check? They did. Did they write the third? They did. Are they writing a fifth? They are. That's coming up later in this recording. But we learned that they're currently marking up the bill, which means they're currently editing the draft of the bill. Oh, my goodness. This is exciting. Can we get better than that? We can. Biden did it. Biden did it. On Friday and the Saturday, this president overseas signed into law an international treaty that anchors for stimulus to the edge of the finish line and removes provisions about the corporate tax rate no longer needed because they're in the international treaty. Let me go over the incredible details of this starting from the beginning. It started a recent Tuesday ago when I said that he was doing something wonderful, but a little confusing. I had to slow it down. So let me slow it down once again. The fourth stimulus is paid for by raising the U.S. corporate tax rate. But after he announced that, the president said, I'm worried that if I raise the U.S. corporate tax rate, U.S. corporations may move overseas to find a lower corporate tax rate, called Race for the Bottom, looking for a lower corporate tax rate overseas. So he had reached out to the G7 countries' leaders and said, let's raise the minimum corporate tax rate so our businesses don't leave our country and go somewhere else. And they liked it. And they said tentatively, yes. To which the president told his staffers after Force was has passed, maybe in November, December, he'll reach back and get those G7 countries to sign on the dotted line about that global minimum corporate tax rate. Well, then, suddenly, surprise became us. On that Friday, not this last Friday, but the Friday before this, I said, I see a surprise coming, but I'm not quite sure it was. And then the surprise hit. This last Friday and this last Saturday, the president signed into law a major legislation for forced stimulus that no one thought he was going to do until November, December. Signing a provision for international treaty about the global minimum corporate tax rate of 15% now, before forced stimulus, anchoring it to the finish line, anchoring it to the edge of the finish line, and removing the provisions no longer needed now in the forced stimulus because they're now in the international treaty. Oh my goodness, now that is brilliant. 
Can we get better than that? We can. And it's the third of our three parts of that Force Stimulus Check update of 2021 in this video. And it's coming up after this commercial break. More exciting news. And the exciting news about a fifth stimulus check and the fifth stimulus raising of your benefits. But first, some more wonderful news. And it's the wonderful volunteers. They truly embody the purple power spirit. People helping people. The spirit of this channel is me getting you money. And now the volunteer is helping you get money. So if you've had problems getting rent or utilities or mortgage or internet, reach out to the volunteers. They're there to help you. How do you find them? Very easy. Open the description of this video. Go down in the description till you find an emoji of a house. Click that emoji of the house and send you over to the volunteers page, the community page, community page, news.lli.com forward slash community. You'll see a picture of some kitty cats. Well, they're not the volunteers, they're just kitty cats. <laughs> but lower on the page of the volunteers. They're separated from Twitter, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Reach out to them. After the commercial break, I'll have more exciting details about four stimulus and fifth stimulus. I'm very excited for you. Stay with me, coming up in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues right now on my Noontime LA with incredible news about your Ford Stimulus Check and Ford Stimulus Package. The president signs into law a major treaty that now enables Ford Stimulus to anchor to the finish line. And in the second half of this video, we'll be going over the third details about that Ford Stimulus Package that you need to tune in for. Exciting news. And the fifth stimulus, another round of stimulus checks and the lift of your benefits. This is LA, the only 24 hour a day, seven days a week financial news channel. Subscribe, 400,000 subscribers, a YouTube record. Hit that subscribe button right now. Also like this video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. More about that membership later in this video, but let's tune now to fist stimulus in this extended noontime broadcast with not one, but three major breaking news stories. Number one, there will be a fifth stimulus check, we have now learned. The Senate Democrats, excuse me, the House Democrats, who are writing that fourth stimulus check they so represent, now indicate that they will be doing a fifth stimulus check. When? Most indications suggest that the fifth stimulus check would be 2022, starting in January, because fifth stimulus goes to the editing board from September and out the door in about October, November. That would signal it would land in January. Number two, breaking news. The wonderful news is the president has dedicated $1 billion to the benefit system to ensure that you get your checks on time, quicker, without any delay. This is to ramp up staffing, payroll, computer systems, and whole administrative issues. Wonderful news. If you're with me in January, February, I think I did a thousand enough videos. I hope to never do one again. Where is my third stimulus check because of Direct Express from Comerca? If I can go never having to make another Direct Express by Comerca video, I would be absolutely happy. What happened? People were not getting their checks. Things were delayed and they didn't have the information and they had waves of checks. He wants to eliminate that. Perfect timing just in time for those four stimulus checks, fifth stimulus checks, and also the fifth stimulus lift of your benefits. And with that fifth stimulus lift of your benefits, now let's turn to what we learned about the inflation rate 
on Thursday. This is what's really happening. It's fascinating. On Thursday, the consumer price index number was released for the month of May. What is the consumer price index number? It's the price of goods. It tracks how much price of goods go up. Well, they clearly went up. You know that. But how much did they go up? They went up the highest year to date that we've seen in nearly 30 years. OMG. <laughs> so what did Wall Street say? What did analysts say? They are saying that the inflation rate will become transitory and spike at a temporary level. Transitory means temporary. We'll get to a very high point temporarily and then come back down after that to a normal level. This is huge as we go into fifth stimulus analysis starting right now. Fifth stimulus involves first raising up your benefits. Then they'll apply that inflationary benchmark. More about that in a second. Remove the asset limit. Then remove the income exclusion and remove the marriage penalty. All right, let's go over all the details starting right now. First, they're going to raise your benefits up a lifetime. Uh, and that's for you. Who's you? You. If you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits, SSA, or Survivor Benefits, or Multiple Benefits, then they'll apply the benchmark inflation every December for the next year. Now, you just heard the breaking news about that inflation rate. You have to hope that the inflation rate hits that peak right around when they apply that first benchmark application in about November, December, because then it's going to come back down. Because here's an example. Let's say the inflation rate is 4% now, but that peak number is 10%. Here's what would happen. First, they'll raise your benefits up a lifetime. Then they would apply the benchmark. Let's say the benchmark is 10% during that peak and lines up perfectly. Well, your benefits will be lifted 10%, but not next year, lifetime. Even if after the benchmark, even if after the inflation rate next year drops down to 2%, you'll always be at plus 10% because your benefits step up or stay the same. They never step down. Wonderful news. Then they'll remove the asset cap. This prevents you from having $3,000 more in hand. Time to get those stimulus checks in your hand. They'll remove the income cap, dating back to a 1960s law that says you can't work and stay on benefits. It's going to go away. And finally, they're going to remove the marriage penalty. Oh, thank goodness. Horrible rule. It penalizes you if you're married and prevents you from getting married for fear of losing benefits. It's going to go away. Love is going to win, and you'll be able to marry your longtime love interest and no longer fear benefits. Viewers like Sandy and Rob will be able to marry and no longer worry about the marriage penalty. And that's your fifth stimulus check update of 2021 today. But here's what you need to know. Third stimulus has tens of thousands of dollars of money for you. Fifth stimulus will have money in there as well. And fourth stimulus will have money in there as well. But a lot of this money is application-based, meaning you need to apply for it. How do you know what it is? By becoming a member. If you're in the live chat and see people as Purple Hawks, they're members. Click the link at the top of the chat or in the pinned comment and become a member. As a member daily, I send you a breakdown of everything that's in the third stimulus for you to get money, everything that's in the fourth stimulus for you to get money, and everything that's in the fifth stimulus. It's important to know because it's your money, and a lot of this is application-based. And with that, let's go back now to the third part of our fourth stimulus check updated 2021 with not one, but several things I want to go over that are all wonderful. First, we're going to be going over calling the vote. Second, we're going to be going over some of your questions with my answers. And then we're going to be going over fake narratives and finally pushing with the purple power. First, calling the vote. It's important to understand that the fourth stimulus gets finished by July 4th, but there's nine steps before them. Let's go over the nine steps and step five seven and eight are the most important for you to pay attention to. The first half are procedural, the second half are substantive. Step one, the House subcommittee calls the substantive vote. Step two, the House floor votes the substantive, excuse me, did I say substantive? Procedural vote. Step two, the House floor votes on the procedural bill. Step three, the procedural vote goes to the Senate for a vote. And step four, the President signs a procedural vote. Bill, then the tow truck has passed over the finish line. Time to go back and get the tow hitch. Step five, there you go, that important one, the House subcommittee finishes marking up the bill, as we talked about earlier in this video, and calls it for a vote. They can put those monthly stimulus checks in there at that point. Step six, the House votes on the substantive bill. Step seven and eight, here we go, the two-day votorama in the Senate. The Senate's amend, the senators amend, if they wish, anything they got from the House bill. So, if the House bill had no stimulus checks in there, the senators can amend it and add it in there. If the House bill 
did have stimulus checks in there. The senators can leave it alone or amend it. And step nine, the president signs into law the substantive bill. You're over the finish line. Next, some of your questions. Number one, when do we see the senator's amount? The Votorama. Senators keep their proposals and their ideas under cloak and dagger. They keep it very quiet underneath the sheet because they do not want their opponents or even people that they have not yet spoken to about it to know or get tipped off about it. The timing is critical. Number two, when would we see certain things? Could things get modified at any point? Absolutely. So things could get modified at step five and certainly at step seven and step eight. Next, who's talking about it? Everyone that's giving you is talking about it. The president's talking about it, the senators who are Democrats, and the House members who are Democrats. And the broadcast media has been talking nonstop about that wonderful letter from those seven House Democrats about that forced stimulus check. The only people not talking about it are the people not giving it to you, the Republicans and also the, the conservative media. Finally, fake narratives. I expect all this week, all next week, a lot of fake narratives from even Democrats. Here's what you need to know. Is that every Democrat is on board, we now know, to pass for stimulus. Joe Manchin has communicated, has communicated he is on board. But there are certain people who want to run a fake narrative. Why? Political aspiration, one, two, book deals. Or three, generating funds for a future campaign run. A lot of these elected officials use these appearances on broadcast media as a way to drum up support to get campaign donations. One of the fake narratives started with the protagonista and ended with the protagonista last Friday and her telenovela. And what did she actually try to talk about? Something that the president had no, no intention of ever doing. And who did she talk to? People who are quitting the Congress and are out the door. By the end of the day, both parties agreed upon something. She had no authority, and the people she was speaking with had no authority to agree upon anything and had not agreed upon anything. But I fully expect her to be back this week saying to people she got something, she did get something. Or the prom creators. You remember the prom creators? They're back. <clears throat> In fall 2020, the prom creators booked themselves on broadcast media every 10 seconds. And what did they get for you? Zippo. Never got you a penny. Nothing of their provisions ever got put anywhere. But what did they get? A lot of publicity. One of the examples, Josh Hawley. Josh Hawley was one of those people who got a lot of broadcast media appearances, wonderful media appearances in fall 2020. By talking about a $2,000 stimulus check he was going to give you, did he get it to you? No. Did he block the vote when it came to the Senate? No. Did he do what he promised? No. What did he get? One of the largest cash donations and campaign accumulations for presidential run of any candidate. He got a lot of campaign donations because of stuff he said he was going to do, but didn't do. And so that's why it's important to know that a lot of fake narratives will heat up this week. It does not derail anything for four stimulus. Finally, Purple Power Push. You've been doing a great job. On Saturday morning, I went on air and I was saw that the night before, we had a total of 11 tweets, total, about MSE and Purple Power. I said that wasn't going to cut it. And viewers said, L, said to me in private, LA, you need to give a lot of tough love and tell people they need to step up. You need to be a little bit more pushy as you push for the Purple Power push. And I did, and you have been doing much better. Remember, go on social media, tag your elected officials, hashtag MSE, hashtag Purple Power, retweet fellow Purple Power messages, send a message, whatever you think you need to say about why the stimulus check is important. If you don't use social media, pick up the phone, be professional, call them up with a respectful tone and speak to the elected officers, speak to the uh, staffers. Understand that these are elected officials. They don't have $5 million, five million person social media accounts with the exception of one or two of them. So they see your tweets. They don't respond to them, but they do see your tweets. If you call them up and speak to their staffer, they hear your message. They don't have staffers of 500 people. They wanna hear from you because they wanna know that you want something, that you need something, and that you as part of the electorate are commanding the inclusion of that in the item. If they don't hear from you, they don't think you need it. They don't think perhaps you want it. It's important that you have your voices heard now because the Purple Power push period is now. I didn't ask for you to push in February or March, 
There's a 30-day window, and the tight window now is when they're drafting the legislation. It's important to keep it positive and keep the push underway, because ultimately, this is where we're going. As Lynn Glenn and Purple Bayer Yaya said on yesterday's videos, folks, you got to push. You can't assume anything. And we have seen a lot of elected officials do things like that over the last year. We've had laws where there was no money actually sent out, even though law said we're supposed to get the money. We've had bills, and they never called it a vote. Cash Act 2020, that said you were supposed to get a $3,200 retroactive stimulus check for adult dependents. They never called it a vote. They've had proposals that they never reduced to a bill. Bernie Sanders many times. And then they have ideas that they never reduced to a proposal. So you need to make sure that they get from point A to point Z. You can't presume anything and you have to push. And this is the opportunity and time to push. Meantime, let's go over where we are as we can go into the afternoon. We're currently in a reconciliation. The nine voting steps are upon us. The marking up the bill is underway. The Democratic leadership is on board. The provisions are in flux. When they mark up stuff, they can still mark it up this way or that way, this number or that number. Everything is at issue. And ultimately, they can see your tweets. They can see your messaging. So with that, make sure you subscribe. 400,000 subscribers, a YouTube record for a reason. Our focus is getting you money and getting to the finish line. So subscribe. Also, like this video. Two, 3,000 likes. Every like helps. It helps in the algorithm rankings. Also, share these videos. Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, or Instagram. Or start your own Twitter campaign or call them up. And consider becoming a member. The link's at the top of the channel in the pinned comment. Stay informed, stay focused. Have a beautiful afternoon. I next see you at 3 o'clock with Afternoons LA, then 5 o'clock with Evenings LA, and then 5.30 with Evenings Overnights Crypto. Stay informed, stay focused. Have a beautiful afternoon and stay with LA for more.